and welcome to Financial Accounting 1. This morning I'm going to take you through the fundamental accounting equation. Uh, the fundamental accounting equation, as hopefully you've read in your book, is assets equaling liabilities plus owner's equity. Assets are what we own. They are what give the business value. Liabilities are our debts and obligations, what we owe. Owner's equity is our interest in the business, our residual right to the assets. It's also known as net assets. Uh, the fundamental accounting equation must always stay in balance. Assets must always equal liabilities plus owner's equity. There's no chance or exclusion or anything. Always assets must equal liabilities plus owner's equity. What I'll do with you today, I'll take you through these different accounts and we'll identify them as either an asset, a liability, or an owner's equity account. And then we will uh, work to make sure that our little accounting equation here is in balance. So always our assets will equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So we have some accounts here. We have cash, equipment, car, and Joe Student Capital. And we'll identify them. So cash is something we own and it has a financial benefit. I'm sure all of you have some cash that gives you a financial benefit, so that one should make sense. Equipment is also something we own that has a financial benefit, so I'm going to call that an asset as well. And a car is something we can own and it has a financial benefit. Um, you, many businesses use cars to take their employees from here to there for the job sites, so it's definitely a help in running our business. Lastly, we have this account called Joe Student Capital. Um, Joe Student is the owner's name in this instance, our fictitious person. Um, his name will always follow the capital account. If you have a partnership, both all the uh, partners will have their own capital account, so it'll be their first and last name and then a capital account. The capital account represents Joe's interest in the business, his financial interest in the business, and uh, he has $35,000 worth of interest in the business. So I'm going to go ahead and call this owner's equity as it's an interest in the business. So now we have assets and owner's equity. What we don't have are liabilities, so we're going to need to solve the equation for the missing element. So we'll go ahead and add these up. Um, when I add those up, they come to 51,000. So I'm going to come over here to assets and type in 51,000. I only have one owner's equity account, so I will go ahead and type in the 35,000 for owner's equity. I don't need to add it up because there's only one. And now I have a subtraction problem. I'll say if I have $51,000 in assets and I have 35,000 in owner's equity, if I subtract them, I can solve for liabilities finding that it's $16,000. So that $16,000 is the loans or debts that we owe to run our business. All right, we'll scroll down to problem number two. Uh, here we go. And we have, again, our fundamental accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And we have a list of accounts. Uh, we'll start with cash. What kind of an account is cash, everyone? That's right, it's an asset because we can own it and it definitely has a financial benefit to us. Um, then we have furniture and fixtures. Furniture and fix fixtures uh, are assets and they are things like couches, chairs, desks, anything that you would consider furniture, um, filing cabinets, etc. Fixtures are things like light fixtures, railings, anything that you would affix to the building. Uh, then we have equipment, and that again is a, that's right, it's an asset. And a car, again, an asset. All things that you own that have value. And then we have building and land broken out. We always want to break out building and land. We, we show them separately. So building is on asset. Oops, it's an asset. And land, also an asset. 
Uh, then we have two other accounts. We have mortgage payable and accounts payable there. Um, they both end in the term payable. That's a very important term in accounting. Most things that end in the word payable, well, I can't even think of an exception, so I will hazard to say all things that end in payable are going to be liabilities. So liabilities are things we owe. They are our debt. They are obligations to pay. Our, um, so a mortgage payable is what we owe on our building or land or both. Now our accounts payable usually has to do with things that we're purchasing short term. But both of these are things that we owe, so we would call them liability. Liability. Um, we do not have any owner's equity accounts, but we can solve for it. Owner's equity is our residual interest in the building. So if we just think here about this building and land and the mortgage payable, we might want to think of it as owning $305,000 worth of building and land and having a loan, a mortgage against that for $195,000. And owner's equity would show the net or the residual interest in the business, what we actually have for ourselves. So again, we're going to add them up. We'll add up our assets. So if I take and add up our assets, I get three hundred and seventy thousand dollars. I'm gonna go up here and pop that in. And then if I come back down, look at my liabilities, add those up, I get two hundred and fifteen thousand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up there for my liabilities. Two hundred and fifteen thousand. And then from here again, it's a subtraction problem. I'm going to say 370,000 minus my 215,000. It's going to give me my owner's equity. So here we have it here, uh, 155,000. And we'll pop that up in the equation just to have it be complete. And you can always check yourself 155 plus 215 should equal our 370,000 and we always want to be in balance. We have one final uh, example that I'll go over with you. Again we have our fundamental accounting equation assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity um, but we start with loans payable and accounts payable and I told you just before that anytime you see something that ends in the word payable it's going to be yep a liability very good So we'll call those both liabilities. Um, the third one here is Joe's student capital again. We haven't seen that since the first example. But uh, Joe's student capital represents our interest in the business. Yes, so it's going to be an owner's equity account. Oops. So we have owner's equity there. So now we can go ahead and add up our liabilities. 15,000 and we'll pop that up there 15,000 and our owner's equity we only had one so we'll put that up there 25,000 and so now it's a pretty simple problem we're going to just add those two so we're going to say 15,000 plus 25,000 gives us 40,000 and that is the value of my assets, 40000 So thank you very much for uh, watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email or uh, send me a private message in Blackboard. And it relates to the exercise in your book 2.1. Thank you.